Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you don't already know who it is, it's the one and only, the true Alex J. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you entrepreneur ideas. Number one, you could do affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing requires no capital, it requires no money at all. So you can start a business with no money. Now, what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is where you sell products on behalf of someone else and you make a commission. So let's say, for example, um, one company, they owned, uh, let's say, weights, like gym weights, right? If I was doing fitness, I could refer that company and every time someone buys from them, I make money. So if you're working out and you say to me, hey, uh, how did you get so fit? Because clearly that would work for me. <laughs> if someone said, hey, you're so fit, how did you get so fit and healthy? I would say, oh, this company, that's where I got my weights from. They buy it from them and they give me a commission. So there's so many different products you can find when doing affiliate marketing. Is almost everything you could possibly imagine from soap um, to towels to bed curtains, uh, holiday websites, you name it, there's something. So definitely have a look at video marketing. Number two, you can get into food and beverage. Now, there's so many different things that you can do within this, um, whether it be you starting with a low budget thing where you're making juice from home and then you can put them in a bottle and have those sent out and delivered to people, um, or you could go and sell them to your local schools um, or to the local neighbors around you, um, or if you're thinking a lot bigger, you could try to get them into supermarkets. Um, again, you'd have to do a lot of research um, in you know, regulations uh, within your country or state um, to what can be approved and what can't work, but there's so much potential potential in food and beverage, um, whether you're selling it locally or whether you're selling it commercially or whether you're selling it across a whole country or whether you're going to get loads of different places in different countries and sell and do like a franchise. Number three, you could do recruitment. You could become a recruitment agent. There's lots of companies out there that require good quality staff and if you've got a good eye for what is required of a good staff member then you might be able to move into recruitment. So what would happen is you would speak to a company and say, look, we'd like to recruit um, people for your company. There's lots of different terms that they do. Uh, for example, there's some where they just pay you on the amount of people you can put into their company. Some they'll pay you only if that person stays for three months or pass an internship or whatever. So it's definitely worth researching into it, but there's a lot of money that can be made in Number four, this definitely requires capital, but you can get into real estate. Now that means that you could buy properties and rent them out, um, or you could buy a property and then do it up and sell it off. There's different ways of doing it. Um, you can also buy um, lots of different properties. Uh, for example, you could buy a whole complex, um, which would be like a, a building with like three different apartments in, or four or six or whatever, and then you're able to then rent those out as well. So there's lots of different opportunities, but real estate is a great market to be in because property prices tend to be going in an upwards trend, meaning that you'll make money in the long run. If you're going to sell them off, obviously it's worth having a lot of financial capital because you're going to need to be able to diversify and buy multiple properties. There's so much you can do inside of real estate. We do real estate as well, so definitely, definitely something you should be looking into. But again, it does require quite a significant amount of capital. Number five, you could become a travel agent. There's lots of different ways of doing this, but you can become an independent travel agent. And then you're able to, if someone wants to go on holiday and they book it through you, you make a small commission. So if you've got a lot of friends that are all looking to go on holiday and you've got a really sharp eye for um, the best bargains and you're able to score the best deals, then you could become your own travel agent. Now again, there's lots of different ways of doing this. You can do it independently or you can join a company and then you're able to become a travel agent. But there's a lot of money in it, um, especially if you're really good at SEO and drawing attention. If you can get a lot of people to your website and they're all looking through your website, then you'll make a commission. Now, again, you can kind of determine your own commissions, whether they're high or low. Um, but again, if you're good with that kind of stuff, you're good with SEO, you're good with marketing, then that would definitely be a good way of generating income. Number six, you can come up with a mobile application. Now, although there's a lot of apps in the marketplace, it doesn't mean that you're not able to move into the marketplace. It doesn't mean it's saturated. It's saturated in certain areas, but again, with positioning, you're gonna be able to really leverage a lot of money. Now, you have to think, Uber came around not that long ago, really. And the great thing is they're making so much money and it goes to show you how much money applications can make. Um, WhatsApp, another one, multi-billion dollar company, and they were bought out by Facebook. So it goes to show how much money is in applications. So whether it be developing a game or developing something that's gonna help people 
going to utilize time or whether it's going to help them in a different way is definitely an industry that you should be looking at. It does require some capital if you're not a programmer or designer, but it's well worth it. Number seven, you could be a coach or a trainer. Now, maybe you're really good at playing a guitar then maybe you're gonna be able to help other people learn how to play the guitar, or maybe you can play the piano, then you can teach other people how to play the piano, or maybe you can sing, or dance, or play tennis, or soccer, or maybe you're really good at videos, or maybe you're good at, with computers, and you're gonna be able to help old people with their computers. There's so many things that you can do, so it's definitely worth looking at if you can be a coach or a mentor in what you're really good at, what you're specifically made for, are you made for? Um, lowing, uh, mowing lawns, then maybe you can start your own company and you can hire loads of people and they'll all help you mow lawns and you can go around and do loads of that or you can do car washing um, and you can show people how to um, start a car washing business if you already have one. So there's so many things you can do within the coaching and training industry. It's definitely worth having a look at. Number eight, you can become a cleaner. Now cleaning makes a lot of money and it's something that not a lot of people want to do and that's why there's so much money in it. Um, whether that be helping people inside of their homes, which is personal, um, so you can have people going around and cleaning houses individually, one by one, or you can be doing commercial, which is where you do the big, um, you know, you can do skyscrapers, you can do warehouses, um, and if you're very, um, you know, you're quite specific in what you're doing, it's going to be easier for your marketing as well. Um, so it's definitely worth looking at if you can start your own cleaning business. It doesn't require much capital, and there's certainly a lot of profit in it. Number nine. You can start working with eBay or Amazon, and they're great ways of making money, and you don't necessarily have to have that much money. Um, so you can be finding products on Amazon and selling them on eBay, and you could do drop shipping, which is where you find them from another source, so you can find a source where you can buy them quite cheap and start selling them on these websites, and you're also able to get products locally, so you can go to like garage sales and get those products and then sell them on eBay, and again, that's another way of making money. It's definitely something worth looking at. Number 10, you can create your own book, you can become an author. Um, so you can create a story if you've got these fantastic stories that are going through your mind, you're able to write that down. Or maybe you've been through a crazy experience in your life and you want to tell people about it and you know that they're going to want to read it. And again, it might be worth writing that down. You never know what the next Harry Potter or Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey might be. Maybe you've already got a great idea in your head but you're just yet to put it to paper. So it's definitely worth writing things down, having a look, and maybe that's the route that you could do. Maybe that could be your business. Now I hope that this video has helped you. I hope that you're able to get a lot of information from this. Um, if you have, please make sure to like, share, and comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I look forward to speaking to you guys again soon, but in the meantime, peace.